After some time, he felt for his pipe. It was not broken, and that was something. Then he felt for his pouch, and there was some tobacco in it, and that was something more. Then he felt for matches, and he could not find any at all, and that shattered his hopes completely. Hello YouTubers, and the quote you have just heard was from The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien. The ultimate pipe smoker lost in some dangerous cave between, beneath the misty mountains. Tunnels inhabited by goblins, lost, weary, bruised, cut off from Gandalf and the dwarves, not knowing what will happen to him now. What does this hobbit do? He looks for his pipe. Wonderful. Some more on that later. But first, a shout out to um, the winner of my literary pipes contest, Bombardonius. Ich habe ihn gekriegt in 250 Gramm Pouches und ähm, werde mit denen so vorgehen, wie du mir das geschrieben hast. Um, es hat leider etwas länger gedauert, weil ich einfach diese Woche keine Zeit hatte, runterzufahren ins Tal. Aber das geht jetzt schnellstmöglich an dich raus. Herzlichen Dank nochmal für die Teilnahme am Wettbewerb. Es hat mir ganz großen Spaß gemacht. Vielleicht um, gibt es ein paar mehr Teilnehmer, wenn ich das nächste Mal sowas mache. Then um, uh, the Pippen Missionary, who is back again with a video telling us what's been happening to him. I'm glad you're back, man. Yes, you have been missed. I'm um, very glad that everything's all right with you and I will be praying for you and your mother um, for her that she gets better and she gets even better and for you that the trip to Alaska and your time there will be a blessing not only for you but also to those around you. Good to have you here. Then I want to comment on Ishan's intervention video. Ishan, um, I don't believe it's a, a good thing to encourage somebody to keep smoking if he has decided to stop it. For whatever reasons, there can be a lot of reasons. He doesn't have the money, he doesn't have the health, it doesn't taste right anymore, he just wants to stop it. I think that um, it's not our duty to keep him smoking because Let's face it, smoking isn't that good for your health. So I can understand somebody who says, I um, want to stop smoking. Um, I have to stop smoking. And I would never try to encourage him to keep smoking just because he's part of this pipe community. Uh, because I think that um, this community is bigger than just pipes. I do not believe that um, Somebody who has stopped smoking for whatever reasons um, has ceased to be part of the community. Yes, we gather around because we have a, a shared interest in pipes and tobacco. That's why we come here. But as I already said, um, I stay here because of the people. And I stay here not only because they smoke pipes. Um, I think our focus is wide enough to have um, a lot of interests reflected in this community, to have some 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 interest in what what else we do um, what we read what other hobbies we have what um, is happening in our personal lives at least to a certain extent of course we don't tell everything here on the internet but I believe that uh, sharing some more than just our pipes and tobaccos is a very very integral and very important part of this community and I do hope that when I stop smoking someday, because I have to do it or because I want to do it, that um, I can still be a part of it with other themes. Um, I still can meet up with smokers, even if I don't smoke. There are people um, that I love who don't drink alcohol. I drink mead. Not all of them do. And so um, I believe 
nobody has to need this community or be left out of this community just because he or she has stopped smoking. Look at some of the stranger videos here. We have people here who make rather strange videos. Sometimes they smoke pipes in them, sometimes they don't. Um, and uh, nobody talks about them not being part of the community just because they don't only focus on the pipes. And I don't want to focus only on the pipes because if we um, only talk about pipes and tobacco, I believe that one day it will get boring. Yes, I believe it will get boring because I've experienced the same thing with kilts. In the beginning, when I started wearing kilts, it was, hi uh, was wonderful to have people tell me about their kilts and what kilts they wear and what socks they wear to what kilt and um, what sporans they combine with their kilts and um, can I wear this jacket with a kilt and can I wear this shirt with a kilt and what shoes do you wear with a kilt? Uh, it was wonderful and um, interesting and informative, um, but in at least one of these communities, we keep the focus we kept the focus very, very narrow, only on kilts and things kilt related. Um, and it gets boring. I wear kilts, yeah. I didn't talk about trousers um, in the days before I wore kilts. I just wore them. I smoke pipes. Yes, it's interesting. It's still interesting to see new, new pipe forms, new pipe shapes, to see creative people making pipes uh, for one another. It's great, but if we focus only on this, I believe one day we will get bored. Um, and so I find it very, very important that we um, talk about other things too, not only our pipes and not only our tobaccos. Which brings me back to The Hobbit. Where do I have it? I'm reading The Hobbit again because it is the year 2012 and the mayan countdown to the hobbit movie is ending in december i'm reading this the 50th anniversary edition <coughs> with a lot of um, wonderful paintings by michael haig to illustrate it i'll show you one of them this is bilbo baggins in front of his hobbit hall <coughs> smoking his pipe and blowing pipe rings I first read The Hobbit, oh, it must have been 1978-79, um, in a very, very small library in Essen. I was um, introduced to this library by my English teacher, Mrs. Geiselbrecht, not only a wonderful teacher, but also a very strong woman who would throw a Oxford Contrast Dictionary from the front of the class into the back row where somebody was talking with his neighbor never did that again and it is a, was a really really old-fashioned library it was the uh, British American library in Essen which had um, only English books uh, it was um, founded by the British Army when they um, uh, were stationed here in Germany after the Second World War and it was a really old-fashioned library with a lot of wooden bookcases, mainly wooden bookcases with leather seats and leather sofas to um, sit down and read. It was um, a, a quiet place. There were never more than three or four people in the whole library. And it had this, this exciting smell of leather, wood and books. It was, it was a refuge for me from um, the stress that I sometimes had at school and at home from the world. It was a quiet place of peace and well books 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 um, an encyclopedia Britannica where I could just take out one one volume and um, start reading wherever um, it was like like wading into a swamp and not being able to get out anymore I spent hours there and I read C.S. Lewis and Tolkien and Chesterton and not only the father Brown Chesterton but also um, Chesterton as a, as a theologian was wonderful. Um, science fiction, lots of science fiction. Um, I encountered Analog, the science fiction magazine Analog there for the first time. 
Uh, sadly, this library doesn't exist anymore. Um, when the British army left this part of Germany, there was no um, nobody left to finance it, so it had to shut down and the books were taken over by the city library and most of them ended in the magazines. At least, um, I hope they are still there. So a part of my childhood, uh, a, a part of my childhood paradise is gone forever, but I still remember it fondly and of course I still read and I'm reminded of it every time that I start reading The Hobbit again. The Hobbit, which um, evokes memories of Abba. Uh, Eagles by, by Abba was, was and still is a tune that um, I connect with the eagles in the misty mountains. I can can see this this landscape with the big eagles flying over it when I hear this song. It's strange sometimes how memories of things combine. Yeah, so I'm reading The Hobbit again. I'm looking forward to December. I will be reading a lot of other things in the meantime. Perhaps I will tell you about it. I'm not sure of that yet. Okay, that's it for this time. See you again soon. At least I hope we will be seeing us again on YouTube. Smoking a pipe, not smoking a pipe. Smoking cigars, not smoking cigars, whatever. Wishing you well. God bless and see you again. Bye.